What's up, everybody? ODC here, and uh, what's going on? Today, I have a very special video for you guys. And um, am I live here? Mm -mm. Oh, I better set this stream over. Can you guys hear me in chat? Because I'm not seeing. All right, I'm going to restart this. There we go. Okay. Okay. Now, I was testing something out there. Could you guys hear the music playing or no? There was music playing in the background. There was a screen up. I was just wondering if you guys either A, I know you, if you A, saw the screen or B, hear, heard the music. Because it was like a blank screen when I was trying to view it. It's really weird. It's quite strange. All right. So we've got about uh, five people. We have some people coming in. Okay. Uh, so today, or actually yesterday, I went to Toys R Us, and I picked up the Tactical Rescue Unit. Um, this is a pretty decent set. looks pretty cool. Um, let me know if you guys can hear me okay. I'll make sure my speaker's... Yep, yep, yep. We're good. Okay, good. All right. Um, so I picked up the tactical rescue unit. It looks pretty cool. And uh, it, it includes a uh, a uh, SWAT a SWAT uh, vehicle. It includes like a little um, co mobile command um, tel uh, telecommunications station right over around the on the over. Where is it? Yeah, over there. And then we have a bike. We have three figures and a dog, a canine unit there. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I think this just um, – now, I was told uh, – my good friend Strident told me that actually uh, this was a old set that's being re-released. So that's pretty cool that they're re-releasing some older stuff. I actually don't have a problem with it because it gives us a second chance. In case you missed out on them the first time, it gives you a second chance to pick this uh, these older sets up. Uh, I, I, I'm still on the fence if I want to pick up that uh, fire truck or not. I'm not 100% sure if I want to pick that up or not, if I'm going to need it. But um, I'm thinking about it. Um, could you guys uh, – let, let me know in the, in the in chat if you guys could hear the music playing prior to – the live screen going up because I'm not sure if it was working or not. It was kind of testing something out to see, but all right, I'll wait for you guys to answer that. But um, here's the set. There's the box, blah, 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 blah. Let's get it open. Not waste any more time, but I hope everyone's uh, having a nice long weekend. I actually have off on Monday, which is nice. Finally, I get a, Three day break, and then this week, and yes, I do have pajama pants on, so don't judge me. Couldn't hear the music. Okay, good. Um, but uh, yeah, I actually am leaving for Columbus to go visit my good friend Strident. We're gonna hang out for a couple days and do some toy buying and. Fun stuff and stuff and stuff, stuff and stuff. Uh, Rob Dog, what's up? Human Mechanism, what's up, buddy? Uh, Soul Drum, what's up? And Zorpox, what's going on? Welcome to the stream, everybody. Here we go, 80, 80 million zip ties later. I'm just going to cut them this time. Ah! 
<laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> I know, it was jacked up, right? That's messed up, man. Don't do that shit. <laughs> All right, let's just unscrew these from the bottom. Ten million zip ties later. I do stuff like that to my wife all the time. She can't stand it. She's like, oh, my God, don't do that. You scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Messed up. <laughs> um, but I also picked up, and I was going to actually do a double review tonight, but I didn't want to overwhelm everyone, so I'll just stick to one set being reviewed today. Maybe I'll do another live review tomorrow. I do have my regular review to upload as well. But I'm not. Uh, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say who it is. Holy smokes! I couldn't. You know what? I couldn't find my my clippers today. For some reason, I was looking all over for them before I started the stream. That's why the the stream was late because I couldn't find my damn clippers, and I still can't find them. And oh my god, what the hell is going on with the zip tie? But. Um, yeah, so I'm going to Columbus for a couple days, and we're going to go to a toy convention. Um, it's the same convention that we went to last year. And I think it's like a, a nice little annual um, thing that we're going to do. Um, or at least the uh, maybe the possible beginnings of a tradition. There we go. 8 million zip ties, and they're all in, like, the most obnoxious way. Uh, I picked this up at Toys R Us. I did. I do have a whole bunch of pickups from Force Friday. Uh, I'm kind of holding off on that. Um, I just kind of want the hype to die down a little bit for Force Friday. Uh, but, uh, and I wanted to do this review. But I did pick up some figures. I did pick up... Uh, uh, a vehicle. I picked up the Luke Skywalker land speeder and with Luke that set from Walmart. And I actually did go, this was my first uh, force Friday going actually going at midnight to pick stuff up. And the funny thing is, is and I'm going to tell you the story while I'm doing this. Cause I want to just sit here and waste all this time. Me guys staring at me just up uh, do undo zip ties. But um, first time I ever went to Toys R Us and they actually didn't have anything really. Uh, Walmart had everything that I wanted as far as the uh, Black Series goes. Um, oh, this is really cool. He comes with a leash too. Oh, and his uh, his vest is removable. Well, isn't that special? Well, just look at it. Just look at it. So there's the dog. And then we have the bomb, bomb uh, officer, or whatever you'd like to call it. He looks pretty cool. I like the suit. Um, might actually use this guy. He's got pretty good range of motion here in his arms. Obviously, he doesn't have the bicep swivel, so he's only going to bend at the elbow and swivel at the shoulder joint. But I'll get to all that in a second. And then we have this guy right here. It's your standard SWAT team member. And we got another guy right here, if I can get him out. But, yeah, Toys R Us really didn't have much to offer. Um, at least um, the majority of the figures that were supposed to be out, I noticed, and this was an ongoing trend for the night, they weren't out. Um, and they were supposed to be out. And I actually had, when I went to Walmart, there was absolutely nothing out besides a bunch of Pop Funkos and... What was it? Um, the diorama displays that Hasbro came out with. So that sucked, and I had to go get a employee, and they looked like, and they looked at me like I was like I had a friggin' alien sitting on my shoulder. Um, they're like, "What are you talking about? It's right there." And I'm like, "No, no, no, no. There's supposed to be <laughs> six-inch figures and vehicle sets that are out," and they're like. Oh, I don't know. Let me go look in the back. And of course, you know, typical Walmart, they don't know anything. They just go there to collect a paycheck. But um, 
they go in the back and they pull out a whole pallet full of them. And uh, all the other collectors that were there were thanking me because no one was going to go check in the back and no one was going to bring anything out. And all the other collectors that were there were going to just leave. And I'm like, guys, don't leave. Just ask. Why would you leave? What would be the point of that? They're like, oh, I didn't want to ask. Well, you got you can't get anything done unless you ask people things, right? So, uh, Toys R Us was a complete bust. I wasn't feeling the prices either for a lot of the sets, the vehicle sets. I was interested in getting that A-Wing, but I'm not paying $40 for an A-Wing. That's just bogus garbage. So, or the, or actually it wasn't $40, it was 30 bucks for that. And then it was 40 for, um, not the A-Wing, but uh, Kylo Ren's space, whatever, the, whatever it is. It's a TIE Fighter. I'll just call it a TIE Fighter. Advanced TIE Fighter, whatever. Um, I don't know the technical term for it. There goes the gun. But that's 40 bucks, and I'm like, I'm not spending $40 on that. It's, it's, it comes with a three-and-three-quarter-inch figure that's got five points of articulation, and it's basically just a, a, a your traditional uh, vehicle with not a whole bells and a whole bunch of bells and whistles. <sighs> Zip ties. How you waste my life away. But I still had fun. I did find a whole bunch of figures. Um, but I didn't get the whole wave. I just got some that I thought were important to me. Like I, I skipped on Vader and I skipped on, oh my God, what the frick, frickin' frack. I know you guys are probably like, just cut it, but it's like a pain in the ass to get to. There we go. That's how you do it. <laughs> the force, the forceful way, right? Use the force. But, um, yeah, I wasn't too impressed with everything, you know. I was going to get one of the Poe Dameron helmets, but 80 bucks, man. Nah, not feeling it. 50, 60, sure. 80? Mm. I don't know. I mean, I get there's a lot of diehard fans out there, and they just want to eat the shit up right away. But And I'm a diehard fan, too. Like, I, I love the shit out of Star Wars. You guys all know that if you've been long viewers of mine. But I'm not going to ride the hype. I'm not going to sit here and just buy shit just because it's Force Friday that I don't think is worth my money. I want to get the best deal possible. So I will wait. I will be patient. Uh, let me see what's going on in chat. Sorry. Chat. Explosives. Expl explosive ordnance disposal. Yes. Correct mundo, Robo. Robo. Uh, human mechanism just picked up the A Wing. It's kind of bizarre that there's still Force Awakens merchandise. Nobody's touching. Yeah, it's just sitting there. It's not going anywhere. All right, I'm ripping this out because it's starting to piss me off. There we go. That's is much better. Um. This is happening everywhere, and people in my area are just not Star Wars fans. Yeah, um, I've noticed a lot of that. There's actually someone that did a video saying that the Star Wars brand is dead, and I'm like, how is the Star Wars brand dead? It's, if anything, it's more obnoxious than ever. It's everywhere. I don't think I would say it's dead. If it was dead, there would be none of it. Like GI Joe's brand is almost pretty much dead. <laughs> when I when I consider a brand dead. I would consider there's nothing out there for it. You can't get your hands on anything. There's nothing new coming out for it. Here's the bike. The bike looks pretty impressive. Pretty happy with this bike, the way it turned out. Nice police bike. We don't get too many of these, right? Looks good. It's a nice size, too. Here, let me just uh, let me get a steel brigader. Uh, brigader excuse me. Blah, blah, blah. Can't talk. Yeah, this is like it's actually almost almost a little bit too big. But that's okay. I'm actually going to give this to one of my guys on the Sweet 16, this bike. I'm trying to get him to sit 
natural, but his arms aren't long enough almost. There we go. So there's a Joe on the bike. I think it looks good. I mean, obviously, I you, you fiddle around with his legs a little bit more. It looks better on this side. I kind of just threw him on there. Um, but it looks good. I like it. The um, the cargo box does not open. It's just uh, sculpted. So, if you guys have any questions while I'm doing the review, don't hesitate to ask, and I will answer as best as possible. I'd I'd, I'd like to make this the as thorough as possible. This uh, live review here. Uh, it would have been cool if they painted this red, but that's a nitpick. No big deal. Looks good, though. I'm really happy with it. And uh, here is what a true heroes figure would look like. And there is even a kickstand right here. Look at this. Isn't that awesome? little kickstand for you. They thought of everything, folks. So it can, uh, yeah, it's, it sits perfectly the way, the way you want it to. Just like that. That simple. Just that simple. Okay, there are a plethora of accessories here, um, which is a good thing. The more accessories, the better. Um, is this new Sentinel-1 toy? Yeah, I think it just dropped. Uh, now, my... my, my, my blah, blah, blah. Whoa, I can't. Slow down. Whoa, holy shit. Slow down, Anthony. Holy smokes. That's interesting. My good friend Strident told me that this is actually a re-release set. Um, he said that this was a older set, but you know, it did just, uh, drop at my local Toys R Us. So they should start hitting there. Um, also there's the fire truck that's hitting stores, uh, as well. I think the fire truck showed up about a week before this did, this set did. So I wanted to pick this up and, uh, it runs around the, what was it? I paid 30 bucks for this, but right this month, I believe, for the majority of rewards, uh, Toys R Us rewards card holders, um, they're sending out a 15% off, and that's actually what I used for this. I used 15% off for this, and it came out to around 25 bucks, so which was good. And uh, okay, the other accessories. Let me get everything out so I have everything here, and I'll continue to talk about Force Friday because I want to finish talking about that. But I am going to do a, uh, a little collaboration uh, video with my good friend, uh, Soul Drum. And we're going to talk about Force Friday a little bit. Oh, that's a gummy plastic. I wasn't expecting that. And we'll discuss some stuff. I, I kind of want to give him a little bit more time because he wanted to pick some stuff up. So I want to be courteous to him. And so this way we can share both of our stuff. And I'm not just sitting here and we're... It's just me, you know, talking about this. Um, let's see what's going on with chat. Uh, Bjorn, what's up? Yo, Joe, buddy. Is this news? Uh, Law and Order would look nice in that bike. Yes, hey, that's a good call. Yes, it would. Yes, certainly, sir or ma'am. Let me see. Yeah. Oh, sir. It would. Sorpox. Sorpox mention that I'll give him props and Jeff Phillips what's up Jeff how you doing buddy welcome everyone can you pick up the you can you pick up the U UH 53 at Toys R Us .com? yeah yeah it's up on uh, Toys R Us .com. you can pick that helicopter up it is there if you don't feel like going to the uh, brick and mortar shop you can order it online it is up on the site so you can check that out. And the more stuff they keep releasing, I'm going to keep picking up. Holy cow, there's a lot of accessories in this. This thing is jam-packed. There we go. Everything is... Get this out of my face. Oh, my God. Get that shit out of here. Okay. Now that the obnoxiousness is done, and I can actually show you everything now. Um... Here is the, I'll just call it the um, tactical uh, SUV. There we go. Or the SWAT vehicle. Uh, it's pretty cool. It's got a nice searchlight on the front right here. 
Uh, it's not painted or anything. I think I really do think that uh, a lot of these true heroes sets, vehicles, and stuff like that. Um, I feel like they're a little bit of uh, a couple paint touch ups away from being just really over the top awesome. You know what I mean? Add a little bit of paint detail with the headlights, with uh, the searchlight, with a, a little bit of uh, maybe shading going on for the uh, the the gun on top. I really think this thing can be just, it would make it so much better. I really do. But uh, here's the door. The door actually opens up like this, like so, and there's a chair in there, and you can swivel the chair around like so. And let's see if we can seat a G.I. Joe in there. Now, this, this chair, it's actually sw on a swivel here. So you can pull this chair back all the way there. Or forward. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I know I'm doing this by. Uh, there we go. I'll do it like this. Here we go. This is better. So there it is, all the way forward. So it gives you the, uh, I gives you the feel of him driving. And then it does go all the way back. I'm not really sure what would that would accomplish. What is it do going back? I don't know. <laughs> It would have been cool if they did divide this a little bit, I think. I think it, this uh, this design would have made more sense if the door just opened and closed right here. And then you had the panty wagon in the back. I'll just call it that, the paddy wagon. Um, if this door opened in the back and you can have a separation here with maybe some bars in between here so you can put your, your bad guys in the back if you wanted to. Handicap accessibility, yeah. <laughs> Pretty much, <laughs> but uh, let's see if a Joe fit in this seat because that's an important thing to do to show. There we go. Oh, look at that! He actually uh, sits in nicely because he's got this little bit of a a leg uh, leg holder. It's almost like a crotch holder, right there. Oh, door shut. <laughs> now he's staring at you guys. But as you can see, that little crotch piece right near his, his crotch, I should say, um, sticking up actually keeps him in the vehicle nicely. So that's pretty cool. And let's just swivel him so he looks like he's driving. Would have been nice if they included at least a second seat in this. There we go. Now he's driving. That looks pretty good. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, Jeff Phillips saying uh, some brick store locations don't have them, but shipping is free uh, for this item now. Yep, yep, that it is. It is. Yeah, it is a big door. I know. But uh, let's get him swiveled all the way into the back here. And I'm not really sure. Oh, it, it just kind of like gives you the illusion that he's sitting in the back seat. But there's only one seat, so that's really weird. I don't know why they would only put one seat in this. <laughs> you know? <laughs> and then the seat does swivel all the way to the middle. I don't know why on earth they decided to do that. <laughs> As you can see, it swivels, and you can also swivel it from down here underneath the uh, the vehicle, the truck. So that's, that's driver's seat, and I think this is supposed to be passenger seat, but it kind of stops right there, and then it falls out like that, and then all the way onto the ground. Great. Um, there actually is a door locking mechanism right on the side here. Right there. And you just want to turn it like that, and then the... There we go. And you turn it like so. And now the door will not open. So that's a nice little touch. I like that. I'm getting to. I'm getting there, Pat. Don't worry. I'm getting there. Um, the top you can pull up or back, up and out, and it is on a hinge, so you can slide this like so. And there's a reason for that. 
Um, I know that there's a there's a gimmick to this, but it, I think it just would have been nice if you could somehow, you know, had some sort of separation wall right here where you could put your, your bad guys in the back. I just thought that would be pretty cool. But it does have a feature, and we do have this piece right here. And this piece can be seated in here if you want it to. You don't have to put it in there, but I, I've seen people do it. Um, the communications station, um, unfortunately, will not fit in this. Not that you need it to. This is supposed to be a separate piece. So, I mean, you could use this for a little uh, HQ headquarters command center if you wanted to add that to that. Um, it does have an antenna on the side, which says swivel up. So there you go with that. And there is the sculpting detail on the communications station. Logan Martinez, what's up? Pat Morgan, what's up? Uh, yeah, human mechanism, it is a uh, locking mechanism on the door. So there's that. Here is the tower. And I know that this isn't technically supposed to go in there, but um, I, I think it's supposed to kind of go with this little communications port right here. But uh, this does swivel. So you can get this aiming in different directions, and it does swivel like so as well. So you could have this down, and if you wanted to put this in here, you could. You just pop this over here like so, and then you have it seated in there, and it's nice and hidden, too. Oh, whoa, whoa, everything's flopping, flying off. There we go, and it's in there. Let me know if you guys need, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do some close-ups and stuff like that. But let me know if you guys need to see anything else. I'm going to show you guys the rest of the accessories. Let me put this uh, vehicle down. Okay, first accessory that it comes with is the assault rifle. And then we have a tactical shotgun. It is a blue plastic, and it is a pliable plastic, so you can bend it, which is usually, usually they use a harder plastic, but the, I've never seen that before. And then there's a, uh, a backpack, which actually is pretty nicely sculpted right there. Back up here. It's got a nice little, uh, looks like to be a climbing pick and some rope. And I'm probably holding it upside down because I'm a moron. But uh, nice sculpting there. And then we have a ladder. A stop sign so we can get a traffic cop in here. <laughs> I'll, maybe I'll use one of these guys for traffic cops. Uh, fill it up with Cobra Shock Troopers maybe. Yep, pretty much. You could do that. I'm going to use it for a different character. But you could you could go that route, sure. Apps of freaking lootly. Uh, I'm just trying to keep up with chat. And there's the nightstick. And here's a little dagger. And I'll just bring up uh, our little German shepherd here. So if you're missing a uh, canine companion. This is a nice little fit for you if you don't feel like waiting for Marauders and get that added bonus in the set. Then we have another pump action shotgun, tactical shotgun. And then we have a tactical SWAT shield. Looks pretty cool. Uh, and then we have 
two missiles, and they are orange and bright. So we'll get to that in a second. Um, the to answer your question, uh, Rob Dog, yes, the majority of these are six inch scaled, as you can see here, with the True Heroes figures, which are three and three quarter inch scale aimed. Oh, it's I mean it's a little bit large. Oh, just a little bit out of scale. Yeah, no, not a little bit out of scale. It's out of scale. I was trying to be nice. <laughs> There's the uh, shotgun. And then we have the backpack, which I'll plug right into his back. There you go. Plugged in. And it plugs into the same on the other guys as well. The uh, nightstick is definitely six inch scaled. So maybe if you wanted to use this for maybe, I don't know, silhouette, custom sil silhouette, you could go that route. The This shotgun is definitely way out of scale. So, And we have our shield, which I actually might use this for a custom this shield. Actually, let me see how, where did, uh, there we go, there he is. He's on the ground, rolling around. Oh, I just fell off. Whoopsie. Whoopsie, whoopsie, whoopsie. He's not going to hold it, is he? Are you not going to hold it? Uh, grown men playing with toys is sad. Uh, you know what's sad? Trolls. Trolls are sad. You can go fuck yourself. So there's the end of that. I mean, you're the. You know what's sad? You tuning in to something that you hate. That's what's sad, loser. Um. Okay. He's not wanting to grip it, but you can hold it on the side. Kind of wedge his hand in there. So I think it fits in with, if you want to use like a smaller riot shield with him, you could go that route. So there is that. Those are, uh, I think, every, all the accessories. Every, all the accessories. Uh, boy, having trouble talking as usual. Okay. Now, we've got our missiles here. Um, this does actually have lights and sounds, so I'll just go through that really quick. And those are all the lights and sounds for it. Pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. So it does have some features, which is nice. I am trying to figure out where these missiles go. <laughs> I have to look at the box. Or do they go? No. Oh, they go right here. Okay. I'm a dummy. So the missiles actually go to this communications satellite, and you just pop it right in like so. And then I'm, ass I'm assuming that you just kind of put some pressure on the back, and then it, there it goes. It goes flying out, and they include two of these. So there's two missiles for the communications port. So there you go. And you just press the back, and it'll go flying out. So that's pretty pretty nice. 
So if you wanted to have this set up, maybe just like a uh, very similar to the Cobra uh, outpost or unit, surveillance unit, you could kind of have it set up like that where this is not only um, bringing in a communication from a satellite, but also a defense mechanism as well. So that's pretty cool. So I think that's pretty much it as far as the set goes. Um, I'm really, really digging this motorcycle. That looks great. I'm telling you, a little bit of paint can go a long way with, I think, the, this uh, motorcycle and that, that uh, vehicle. Keep dropping shit all over the place. What's wrong with me today? But this looks really good. I'm really digging this set. It's, I mean, it's pretty simplistic when it comes to what it is. It's essentially just a SUV and a motorcycle with a little communication center. Um, I really like that they gave this a, a stand. Like I said, sim simple things go a long way, and it, it stands nicely. So beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'm actually planning on giving this to my one of my Sweet 16 members. Um, I'm actually going to plan on, I think, giving this to Breach. It makes the most sense since he is uh, based on, on actually one of my uh, friends, the character. So I think I might give him that. Um, but you can, um, all, of the, uh, all of the insignias on here are pretty much stickers, so you could take them off if you wanted to and you just wanted to do a straight black look. You could go that route. There is a gun turret on the on the top, and it doesn't. It you know what? It doesn't really plug in nice that nicely. But you can just use it, use it as a, a turret, and it does swivel backwards, side, and uh, if you want to put it on the other side, you can as well. There's another uh, peg port for it. There you go. And there's a locking mechanism up on the top, so you don't have to worry about this thing rattling around or flopping around or anything like that. So it's right there. Oops, missing it right there. You just kind of swivel it so the, the tab is sticking outward. And uh, that's pretty much it. I'm going to get this ladder on here, and I'm going to try and figure out where the hell that goes. <laughs> uh, maybe on the back here? No. Oh. I guess you could just uh, put it on the back, like or on the side, which, however, however way you wanted to do it. I was assuming that that maybe well, it's obviously not going to go in the front; that would block the door, right? But um, maybe possibly the back, like so, but that's still kind of blocking the door. I guess maybe on this side you could do it, but. It's nice that they give you the uh, the accessories with it, like that. All right, as far as chat goes, let me um, let me hit up chat. What's up, Terry Turner? What's up? Hey, Yendi, what's up? Uh, could you place the gun where the spotlight is? Eh, let me check that for you, buddy. There we go. Unpeg that. Uh, no, you can't. The hole's uh, a little bit too small as opposed to these holes up here. It does not want to fit. As you can see, this, uh, I'll just compare the tabs really quick. The tabs are a different size. So, no, you can't, but I know where you're going. Actually, let me give it a second try here. Mm, no, it's not wanting to go. It's not wanting to go. Not today. Uh, Oscar, uh, what's up? Just jumped in. Is complete set? Yeah, this is the uh, complete set. I picked this up the other day. It's at you can pick it up. I believe it's on ToysRUs.com, and you can pick it up at your probably your local brick and mortar Toys R Us. But it looks pretty cool. I'm liking it. Liking it. 
It's nice that they put the stickers on here so they give you that option of taking them off or not. Um, now, there is some other stuff that I would like to show you as well. Um, I'd like to give you a nice close-up of this gentleman again and show you his articulation. The, uh, the head and the head swivel. Yeah, it's a little tight on the head, but it can swivel. The arms go up, down, full 360, a single bend at the elbows, no wrist articulation, the legs do go forward, even with the uh, protection in the front is a pliable plastic, which is nice. Well, actually, you know what? This is actually on a hinge. I thought this was like a pliable plastic. I wasn't paying attention. That's a hinge joint right there. That's pretty cool. So both his legs can go forward. That's nice. And uh, I really like the sculpting. I'm really liking the sculpting on him. Looks really good. They did a really good job on this. It would be cool if maybe they um, they came out with a uh, maybe like a three pack with these guys. I'd like to pick up. A, I think maybe a couple more of these guys. They look pretty cool. He was like a little army builder. And then here's the uh, SWAT guy. He pretty much has the – nope, he does not have the same articulation. So I'll go through that. Excuse me. Sorry. Let me make sure this guy's got the same style. Okay, so these two guys have different articulation than the bomb squad guy. No, the new armored car will not. This this armored car won't fit in that chopper. No, this is this is way too big. I couldn't even get a vamp in that, unfortunately. I wish, I wish it did, you know. But uh, so this guy's articulation right here. We'll go through him. The head can swivel side to side. Not the best range of motion there. I'm going to be honest with you. The arm swivel as well, not a full 360. There's no, uh, there's a single bend at the elbow, and that's pretty much it. And then we have the swivels at the the leg, that's uh, and bends at the knee, and that's it. So simple articulation. Also, this guy does have bends at the knee, not the best range of motion there, but he, I mean, he is wearing a bomb suit, so got to give him a little bit of leeway there. Um, but that's pretty much it for this set. I, I, I think it's it's a it's a decent set. I don't necessarily know if it's if it should warrant the thirty dollar price point though. I'm going to be honest with you on this. As as nice as it is to have some police themed sets, which I hope hopefully we get some more. That would be really nice. I think they also released a new chopper. It's like a smaller, more tactical chopper as well. Um, I kind of passed on it because I have so many damn choppers. Uh, I'll, but I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Hopefully it's on the uh, Toys R Us website. I'll show you that in a second. Just uh, remind me in chat. Um, I'll give you one more look at the dog, the canine unit. We'll just call this guy Max. How's that? Why not, right? He's pretty cool. Max is cool. You can remove this vest if you want to. Um, the collar is on a, yep, you can, re you can remove that collar or the, uh, the, the leash, excuse me. Uh, can you remove the collar? Nope. That is uh, sculpted on. So you can't remove the collar, but you can remove the leash and the vest. So that's nice if you wanted to take that stuff off. Um, yeah, Terry Turner, I agree. They, um, they did a pretty good job designing it. I agree. And Terry, in my next uh, video, um, I may or may have not uh, designed a character for you. I don't know. You'll just have to see. In my next Marauder video, you'll have to wait and see. But, um, yeah, Terry Turner, a, uh, he's been a longtime uh, subscriber of mine and a longtime subscriber, uh, subscriber of Strident, so I just wanted to kind of give him a shout-out. And uh, he does a, a lot for the um, uh, Strident community. And uh, the the action figure community in general, he he gives a, a lot of good good heads up uh, if you're on Facebook. So shout out to him for good being good collector. 
And uh, yeah, I was actually thinking, now someone brought up, oh, you could use this for Cobra Shock Troopers. And I actually have an extra Cobra logo. So, I mean, I guess I could if I really wanted to. I could take some of these stickers off and maybe put, put it on the side of the door right there. That would be pretty dope. But uh, And I'll just give you guys another really nice look at the sculpt of this. And I'll rotate it for you. Sorry if my hands are a little bit shaky, but I am holding this up by hand. So there you go. There's the sculpt work right there. And on the back. So really nice. Um, I might as well get to my nitpicks. My nitpicks with this would probably be that there's only one door that opens on this. I know the top opens, but I would rather not have the top open and have this back door open and both of these regular doors just open normally instead of having this big swiveling door that opens like that. Mm, not really feeling that. Uh, secondly, I would prefer to have at least two seats in here. There's only one seat. Now, it does seat uh, the figure nicely, but um, unfortunately, it's, it's a one-seater. So if you wanted to give this to a character, um, you have one seater in there, and then maybe just throw your figures in the back. Uh, you can pop the top like so and throw them in the back. And this is on a sliding joint. So, I mean, I guess if you wanted to have it sitting like that, maybe it's easier for you to have it sitting like that. You can do that. Or if you just want to have it kind of hanging like so, you could do that as well. But, uh, yeah, I mean, there's there's plenty of room in there for figures if you want to put them in there. But, they're, unfortunately, they're going to kind of rattle around. Uh, maybe a sculpted bench would have been nice. Nice, nice little bench piece would have been nice for this. I think it would have kind of made this set a little bit better. But then again, I have heard that this is an older set, so maybe they just didn't uh, have the budget for it back then. But it's nice that we got this. Uh, I'm pretty happy with it. The um, the wheels do roll independently of each other. There's no um, one single bar. It's on a just a peg joint. So you roll one and one on this side, one on that side. And they all roll independently of each other. So that's something to note. And that's what the bottom looks like. Um, David says, uh, the dog and the bike are really nice, but I will likely pass on this unless they clearance it out. I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, if it doesn't sell, I think there was only three sets at my local Toys R Us. And that was at, and I have two Toys R Uses in my area and only the one had them stocked and there was only three of them. So, uh, it, and that's just my area. That's Buffalo, New York. So, I mean, I'm sure other areas, if you live, live in a larger city, they'll probably stock more. Or you can just go on ToysRS.com and pick it up. But, uh, yeah, I would, I would probably wait on this one, to be honest with you. Unless you get it for around 20 bucks. I'd say 20 25 25 is kind of pushing it. I'd say around the $20 area is nice. If they discount it about 10 bucks, I think this would sell like hotcakes. Um, I wish it had more seats. Yeah, me too. Me too. I really do. Um, I mean, it's nice that we got this, but we also got this communications port with the, the Shark, the big AC-130. This actually goes inside the AC-130, but uh, it's, I mean, it's, it's nice that we got this stuff, but I would have rather not gotten this and maybe got more tooling on this, to be honest with you. But you could also have this battle your, your uh, Rise of Cobra um, hum, Humvee, you know? So if you wanted to go that route, you could. This is a nice answer to that if you wanted to. The bike is really nice, man. I can't get over the uh... – and I don't own too many bikes in, as far as three and three-quarter inch figures go, so this will be nice for one of my team members. The um, 
bicycle wheels. All the wheels in this set are plastic. They are not rubber of any kind. We'll just put that kickstand away. But it's pretty dope. Like I said, a couple paint, a little bit of paint could go a long way with this set. All right, so that's it for this set. Um, I did pick up a couple other things, and I was actually... I was going to review this other set that I have, but maybe I'll wait for tomorrow. Um, so I'll just show you what else I got, and I'll review that as well. How's that? I'll add this into the, um, the thing. Uh, I hate how chat may never adds windows. Yeah, you know, they they don't like doing that. And what was it? I don't think Bernard does that. Uh, Lenard does that a lot. They don't add windows either. Um, yeah, I mean, w when you look at it, I mean, I guess these are these should have them they definitely should have at least the front the front window should definitely have windows excuse me um and the side i i would actually prefer if they put bars on that window or not actually bars but um maybe like a thick thicker plastic maybe like a translucent plastic would have worked nicely um but yeah windows would be nice on these sets Okay, so I did pick up something else, and this, for some reason, I don't know why, but this, keeps, this set keeps going up and up in price, and it's like, wait, when did that come out? That's probably what you can tell yourself, but I picked up, uh, and this was a 2010 release, I believe, 2010, 2011, one of the two, but um, I picked up the Avatar um, mech suit. looks pretty awesome man and a three and three quarter inch figure can fit in here i have tested it out and i'll show you what it looks like in a second but uh this is a pretty dope mech suit it's not as big as the pursuit of cobra or 30th anniversary whatever you like to call it the pursuit of cobra mechs it's a little bit smaller but uh this is gonna fit a certain character which i will will go nameless right now until i do my my damn marauders sweet 16 video but, uh, yeah, this was actually made 2009. That's what the stamp says on the back of them. But uh, I'll give you guys a quick review of this. This ran me around 20 bucks. Uh, I believe when it was released, I, I want, I'm guessing here, but I, I would assume that this went for around $12, $15. I'm assuming that. But you know what to say about assumptions, right? One of two things. They're the mother of all F-ups. And they make an ass out of you and me. So I'll try not to assume here. But that's what I would price it at. Um, this is going for around 40 bucks on eBay on the regular. 30 to $40. So uh, 30 bucks. Oof. That's, that's asking quite a bit for this Mac. I don't know if I'd go that route. Um, it does have some paint detail on here. It's kind of minimal, though. It does give a little bit of wear and tear throughout the body. Uh, it's very, like I said, very minimal. Uh, it's pretty cool that he comes with this gun, and you can remove the gun from his hand. It's not just molded on there. That's pretty cool. And he also comes with this big knife right here. Then you can um, pull it out of the sheath, and that's what the knife looks like. It's got some sculpting on the knife. Actually, some pretty nice sculpting, to be honest with you. Looks good. So I even like the, the sculpted detail on the handle. That looks nice. Um, but uh, unfortunately, even though he does have this knife, right, he doesn't really hold it that well. It's like his hands are just too big or, or they're too far open for him to hold the, the dang knife. And it's falling right out of his hand. But uh, you kind of have to wedge it in an awkward state. And even then, I don't, it's kind of a, just a little bit loose in there. So... But, I mean, this is definitely a uh, something different for your three and three-quarter inch figures. And he's going to go to um, a specific character. There is a, a lot of uh, sculpted detail going on throughout the body. Like I said, there's some um, a lot of uh, rivets and nuts and bolts going throughout the arms and – 
they did a really good job. This uh, this rather large gun looks like a uh, something out of Gears of War. Looks pretty cool. But uh, and I'll go through articulation in a second. But I will here. Let me just give you a full 360 here. But I'm going to put a uh, three and three quarter inch figure in here in a second, and uh, you'll be able to see how much of clearance we have. Now, the uh, majority of the Avatar figures were three and three quarter inch, so that was good. They had a three and three quarter inch line, which was nice. But let's just pop the top here. It opens like so. Take a look inside. There is some sculpted detail on the inside. And he's just going to kind of stand inside there. So that's nice. Um, there's not really anything on that display. It's just kind of plastic, as I'm trying to point to that piece right there. There's no sticker or anything like that. This did not come with any stickers of any kind. So let's take our Steel Brigade. Steel Brigader, 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 Brigader. And you do have to bend him at the knees a little bit. Because his head is wanting to get in the way just a little bit, but he will fit in here. So I like to bend the knees a little bit. Let me catch up with chat. Uh, 20, 20 bucks is a good deal on the mech suit. I love mine. I use the Marauder's Task Force torso on mine. Can't fit the legs in. Really? Because I got, I got mine in. See, look at this. He's in there. Yeah, he's in there. If a Joe fits in there, a, a Marauder should fit in there. I mean, he doesn't fit in there like with head clearance, but he's in there. It's good enough. It works. So that is nice. The um, the Avatar figures do run a little bit skinnier and a little bit smaller than uh, Joe's and Marauders. Scalpers, uh, Terry Turner says, Scalpers trying to make. A profit shaking my head. Um, eBay needs to crack down on them. Yeah. It's tough, though, because if one person posts something for $100, like, let's say someone posted this for $100, just this. And the next guy sees that, and they're like, oh, what's going for $100? I'm going to post it for $100. And then another guy sees it. I'm going to post it for $100. I'm going to post it for $100. And then everyone's posting them for 100 bucks when they're, you know, the whole set goes for 30 bucks. You know, what's what, how is eBay going to? handle that you know it's, it kind of sucks that it's like free enterprise basically it's 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 open season as far as that goes so it's kind of tough i mean ebay's kind of in a, a tough spot too but i think there was some sort of article that i saw of, of ebay getting after them getting after people for overpricing things um so i did bend his knees a little bit more and now he has perfect head clearance And that's even with the helmet on. So open it, shut it, and it clips right into place. So you just kind of have to play with the knees a little bit. But as far as this guy's articulation does go, his arms go up, and they go down, and they can swivel. They actually plug into this ratchet um, joint right here, and the arms can go swiveling like so. But there is a hinge joint here. Like that, and that's uh, you can swivel. It's got a butterfly joint basically, which is nice. So you get the butterfly on both sides, and then you have the swivel right here. That's nice. Single bend, really good range of motion in that single bend. That's a really good range of motion there. Uh, and then we have a swivel at the wrist. No hand articulation, no hinge joint there. Um, he can swivel at his waist. Uh, the sheath, unfortunately, does get in the way when you try to swivel him this way, so you kind of have to force it just a little bit, but you can get him turning that way towards his right or the right. The arm can extend out like so, and it can go all the way up if you want it to, even with the gun in his hand. And uh, these these chain bullets just pretty much just plug one plugs right into the top of the gun right here, 
And then there's another hole right on the side, like so. The legs are articulated and they can go back. They can go forward. They cannot go out, so no splits or anything. Not that you would, I guess, need them to, but just pointing it out. Single bend in the knee. And you can um, get the leg going. That's pretty much neutral right there. But it does go forward just a bit. That's pretty much neutral. And then you get a little bit extra room right there. And then we do have toe articulation here. So that can go up and down. And you can adjust that to however you want it. So let's say you have one foot on a rock or something like that. You could have this toe pointing a little bit up north. And uh, it would look a little bit more natural that way. Um, David says, um, maybe it was just mine. Maybe, oh, maybe it was just uh, the Mirage Task Force figure. I didn't like how they fit in there. I popped the legs. And I thought it looked perfect. Yeah, I mean, I mean, hey, any way you're comfortable, you feel comfortable doing it is the way you should do it. But let's get this pointed back downward. And like I said, that's just on a ratchet joint. And then you could swivel the arm forward like so. So if you wanted to actually have these pointed backward like that and then have this down like that, you could do that. You could do it, man. You could do it. And then swivel the arm downward. I don't like how tight that is, so I'm just going to go back like that. There we go. But, yeah, this is a pretty cool little mech. It's nice that he has a gun. And like I said, the gun is removable. It just kind of plugs into his hand. So if you want to take that out, you can. But I'm just going to leave it in for now. Whoops. I have limited space here, so bear with me. But this is definitely a cool little mech. Um, it, it's the, the the tough part is is that if if they have this uh, competing in price with the Pursuit of Cobra ones, I would actually go with the Pursuit of Cobra ones over this uh, because this is smaller. While it does have some nice sculpt and detail throughout the body, and I'll just turn it around to the back so you can check out the back if you want to. Um, I don't know if it really warrants the $30 to $40 price point for being a smaller mech. Um, but I, I would say if you get one, I think that's enough. No reason to army build these, really, unless you really want to. But, but yeah, that is uh, pretty much it for this. I don't want to go on too long here. It's going on 11 o'clock here. Let me get his knife back in there. But I did pick up, uh, I did do, I did actually do my first ever Force Friday at, at midnight. So that was pretty fun or not so fun. I don't know which one I wanted to go with that. Um, I said, I think it comes with a knife. I'm not sure what you're referring to there, Terry. But um, David says, also don't make the mistake I made. There's a variant that has more paint apps, but doesn't include the gun. I was so disappointed when I got those. Oh, I didn't even know that. Wow, that sucks. So thank you, David, for pointing that out because I didn't know that. So look out for that. There is a variant of this um, that has more paint apps, but that does not include the gun. So I don't know. I think the gun is pretty, pretty dope. I would definitely go after the one with the gun. So go after this version over the paint apps. Mac. Yes. Oh, the Mac. Oh, okay. Yeah, it does come with a knife. Wee. It's a nicely sculpted knife, too. Looks good. Looks good. But the, um, the, the, the odd design here is, why would you put the sheath on this side? If he's holding the gun on this side, he's got to cross draw it, right? You can't, you're not going to grab it from this, and then you're going to pull it out unnatural. It just uh, doesn't work that way. So, I don't know. Maybe if the gun gets knocked out of his hand, he could cross-draw the knife. Maybe the knife is the, re the, the uh, last resort for the mech. I, I don't know. But, yeah, like I said, the price point on this on eBay, and you know what? The hell with it. Let's go search eBay, and let's try to find some stuff. Let's have fun with this, right? That's why I'm here. Saturday, we got three days. Screen share. 
present to everybody. Let me know that you guys can see my screen here, please. Please, chat, please. I'm begging you, chat. I'm begging you. No, I'm just kidding. All right, so let's go with Avatar. Uh, what is it? Amp suit. That's what it's called, the amp suit. Uh, actually, here's one for $17.99. Let's see how much shipping. Ooh, 14 bucks. So, yeah, there you go again. Here we go again down the overpriced road. I mean, if it was $17.99, I'd say pull the trigger. Grab it, but... <laughs> Woof. Over 30 bucks? Mm. 40 bucks. Here's one for 24. I have 1360 chip uh, shipping. So, and I think this is the one without the gun too. Yeah, this is the one without the gun. Maybe he has hand articulation. Maybe David can answer that question. David, does uh, your version have the hand articulation? Because mine does not. Thirty-four. Yeah, this is too. This is too high. And this guy wants seven dollars for shipping. Holy shit, man. It's, uh, that's a lot. It's quite a bit. 45, 30, 46. What the, what are you smoking? Let's go to the, who is this? Order more. No, it should say order less. I'm not ordering from you. Don't forget to show us the cho chopper and TRU. Okay. Yep. I will. Uh, I, it, I saw it the other day. It was up. Maybe they took it down. Hopefully they didn't take it down. I'll check in a second. Here is a oh, this guy's got a pursuit of cobra mech up for ten bucks. Yo. Oh wait, is this a pursuit of cobra? Yeah, this it looks like it. Oh, it's missing the, the top hatch, but you could probably find a hatch. I mean it's eleven dollars. So collectors out there, go 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 snatch it up. It doesn't have the driver, but at least you can find the Mac. You can get the Mac. But this guy's got it labeled James Cameron's Avatar Amp Suit Vehicle or Alien Power Loader. He has no idea what he's, or G.I. Joe. He, ha he is just putting everything in this title. He has no idea what it is. <laughs> but, yeah, let's see what else this guy has to offer. He's got a whole... Oh. If it wasn't $150, I would think about picking that ATTE up. But no thank you. No thank you. Do not want. Um yeah, no thank you. Um 35, 32, yeah, 39, 125. Fuck this person. Who is this person? Shopping mad easy. Oh, yeah. Well, someone bought this for $125? What? Why? Why you do this? Why? Can I see who bought it? I don't know who this person is, but I feel bad for them. Oh, my Lord. Why would you do that? Do not do that. That's bad. That's bad. Um, yeah. But just to compare it, yeah, these are going around the forty to thirty to forty dollar range they're going for. Yeah, what the fuck indeed. Um let's look up. I'm swearing a lot in this video too. It's probably gonna get on the on the restricted list. Friggin' everything is PG now. Uh, he swore. Uh, I'm so offended. Okay, let's look up Pursuit of Cobra. Actually, I should look up G.I. Joe Pursuit of Cobra Mac. Because it's going to give me a different search menu. Uh, 34. That's kind of pushing it. If it was 30, 30 bucks even, I'd say grab it. Oh, he's got two of them, too. But it is the Cobra version. So. 
mm, that is tempting. But can't spend that much. Plus, I'm going to a toy show in about a, a week, less than a week now. Thirty nine. Oh, get out of here with that fifty dollar bullshit. No. Hell no. Hell no. No. Free shipping? Oh, God, man. These guys are killing me with the shipping. Killing me. He's got four of them. He's got four of them. Mm. Would like to pick up one of each. Oh, hello. Look at you. That is a nice paint job right there. That looks sharp. That looks sharp. That's a Storm Eagle repainted. That looks sexy. That is sexy. Not $80 sexy, though. No spank you. Spank you, no. But, well, nothing else, really. All right, let's go to ToysRUs.com. Oh, there's these. The pulverizer suit. I was actually thinking about picking this up. It's a smaller suit, but it, it actually would fit in with a uh, another character. Ooh, 30 bucks. No, thank you. I'm out of here. No dice. Oh, that's pretty That's pretty cool. All right, let's go to toysrust.com, T R U dot com. There we go. Toysrust.com. Uh, David said it's the same exact figure, but it has some yellow paint apps. I think it was supposed to be a dock worker. Oh, okay. Makes sense. What? Cannot reach the site. The f are you talking about? All right, let's just go Toys R Us. There we go. Oh, I put TRU.com. Sorry. Sorry. True Heroes. Yep, 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 yep. Let's go. Okay, here is the boat. There is the helicopter. 50 bucks. Oh, it was 40 bucks in, in the store, though. Hmm. 50 bucks. Yeesh. It's kind of pushing it. This was also $40 in my brick and mortar shop. I was thinking about picking this up. It actually is, does look like a really nice set, to be honest with you. But there's the boat. That's 30. 50 and 50. I don't think that this warrants a $50 price point. I really don't. I really don't. Yep, 30 bucks right there. 50 bucks. That definitely, I, I mean, I was, I keep passing on it and passing on it. I do want to pick that sub up. I really do. It's perfect for Cobra. Perfect for Cobra. But we have the True Hawk. That's a awesome, awesome vehicle. Not really feeling this battleship. I'm gonna be honest with you. I think it's too small. Um, I feel like it's not 118 scale or three and three quarter inch, whatever you'd like to call it. But this chopper is awesome. I have that chopper. I like it. There's a lot of room for figures inside that cockpit. Um, here's like their version. This is like, this missile launcher place is like their version of the Rolling Thunder or the Thunder Clapper. Yeah, Rolling Thunder. I'd go with Rolling Thunder there since they're missiles. And we have the the Freedom Force helicopter, the Chinook, which actually fits Vamps in there. I think I think Vamps and uh, All Strikers fit in the back of that, so that's cool. Um, this is like their take on the killer whale, <laughs> which is, it's not, it's not a bad set, the, the military hovercraft. I don't think it's a bad set. Here's the uh, a smaller little assault vehicle. Pretty cool. Nice little set. I'm trying to find that new um, helicopter that popped up. Fire engine is very tempting. I'm also tempted to get the pirate ship. Yeah, I actually did see that pirate ship. It looks pretty cool. 
I just I don't I don't know what like what the hell would I use it for though. I mean, I'm sure I'm sure other people have uh, uses for it, but um. See now that's a good that's a good deal right there this combo pack but it's out of stock. Um, I don't have any pirates to use it or three and three quarter inch pirates to use it. So I mean I'd well, I'd like to pick it up, and it does look cool. I, I don't really have any figures to go in it, which sucks because I would like to pick it up. Um, here's that assault boat. I keep put, putting off this assault boat, but I already have the. Uh, the hydrofoil, so I don't, I don't think I need it. Here's that little uh, mobile helicopter base. Ah, I'm not feeling it. I don't know. It's a little bit for forty bucks. You're really getting a a stand, uh, a plastic treehouse with a bridge and a helicopter, a small helicopter. And a little dis uh, display pad or a uh, playset pad. I don't know. That's uh, kind of asking quite a bit for that. Oh, we got, oh, here it is. Here's the rescue or the tactical unit playset. Um, here's the new set that I was talking to you guys about. It's a smaller set. Um, I passed on it due to the price point, 30 bucks. That's asking quite a bit for a small helicopter, uh, a little our uh, little um, ATV, and a, a a boat. And that's it, and it doesn't really come with that much, to be honest with you. Three three figures, I don't know. That doesn't really warrant thirty bucks to me. Hmm. Twenty bucks, maybe. I'll think about it, but. Hmm. But that is the helicopter. Still tempted to pick up this. Or maybe my villains. I don't know. Uh, the dart fighter is pretty cool too. And I think that's a good price point there. 20 bucks, Maybe 15 I think it was 15 about a year ago. I feel like True Heroes is going a little bit up in price. Get out of here. Um, here's the other helicopter. This mobile squad helicopter playset right here this is a, a newer one as well i haven't seen this this is this was in the store when i saw it and that's how i i knew about it but it's another chopper set i feel like this should be around 17 dollars 15 to 17 dollars 15 bucks i'd say 15 is reasonable for something like this 22 dollars eh, now you're pushing it pushing it with tax it can come out to like 25 bucks this is something I really do want to pick up. This it's almost like their their take on the, um, what was it the mobile? What was it the vehicle sled? The GI Joe vehicle sled? I don't know what the, I forgot the name of it. I'm sorry. I have brain farts. I'm dehydrated. Give me a break. I need a water. I need some water. But this does look pretty cool. It's kind of like reminds me of the the tumbler, um, the Batman tumbler bike, but a trike. So, uh, Dreadnought Pirate Ship. Oh, well, you, I guess you could go that route, yeah. Uh, human Mechanism says, I would just buy the Outpost helicopter without the landing pad. Definitely worth it. Oh, okay, well. To each their own, brother. To each their own. I think this is pretty cool, even though he's sitting in an awkward in an awkward way. I mean, that's pretty much how Batman said on his. The recon sled. That's what it's called. Yeah, that's what it's called. Sorry about that. That is quite the sword right there. Um, I think that's it as far as the new stuff goes. Although, I think... I'm not sure if that's new. No, that's not new. They do have these um, exoskeletons. I don't think they look... They don't really look that great. Um, I think the core had better exoskeleton suits, the older core ones. Come on, picture, work with me here. There we go. Yeah, these don't look that, I don't know, they just don't look that great to me. Wasn't feeling it. 
Was not feeling it. So, uh, what else do we have here? The smaller chopper. This is kind of like their take on the Fang. Which it's nice to see that you know they they try they, they try to do give you their own take. That is one cool ninja blade right there. That's pretty cool. Uh, they try to give you their own take on GI Joe, basically, which is pretty dope. If these were only one eighteenth scale, could you imagine getting a bomber in one eighteenth scale? Oh, that would be so awesome! Look at that. Who wouldn't love to have that right there? I would. I would love it. I would love it every second of it. But uh, I think that's pretty much it for that. The core, um, I think it's called the core elite. I'll just look up the core. The core elite. I want to show you that the corehq.com. There we go. This is what I want to show you guys. The new figures are coming out. No, I don't want to get out of here. Um, here's Impact, El Jefe, Smoke, Trick Shot, Rain. Obviously, we know who Rain is. Recoil, we know who he is. Rucker, we know who he is. Uh, Diesel, Gills, Dozer, Buckshot, Boulder. I think some of these are the older ones, but uh, Condor, Snakebite, Troll, Ogre, Puma, Reaper, Plague. He's the leader of the curse. Uh, Shrapnel, that's, that's a new one. These guys are new. Titan is new. Impact, I showed you him. He's new. El Jefe is new. Um, let's just take a look at him. And the, You can read all about them. They have all these nice little read-up file cards right here, which is pretty awesome. And the figures do look a lot better. The figures look a lot better. Come on. Why are you, why you not do? Why you not do stuff? Um, let's see. Yeah, you can look up their whole story right here. Oh, we even have some music. They have a comic. That's pretty cool. That's pretty awesome, man, that they put the time and effort into this. It's pretty awesome. I'm going to get that music off there before I get hit with a copyright or something stupid happening. Um... Here are some of the no, – are these the new ones? Yep, these are the new guys. Oh, those are 6-inch. Sorry. <sighs> Dummy. But they're coming out with a 6-inch line. Huh. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. But this looks dope. This looks pretty dope. Kind of like their uh, battle cruiser. Hmm, that is tempting right there. It is. We've all seen the Titan tank before. That's uh, currently out. You can pick that up in store. Oops, sorry, hitting wrong buttons here. Uh, we've all seen the Beast Bomber. We know the awesomeness of the Beast Bomber. There's your six-inch soldiers. Uh. The closest thing we've got to Stealth Bomber 118 scale would be the X-19 or the G.I. Joe Skysweeper, which was based on the F-117 Nighthawk. Correct. Yep. Yep. Um, I pl actually plan on picking up a Ghost Rider from the FSS Club to go with my uh, X-19. Um, I'm going to get to the, the new characters, but here's those Exo Battle Suits. I think they look a little bit better than the – actually, a lot better than the True Heroes ones. They are a little bit cheaply made, I'm going to be honest with you. I have handled one of these before. But there's uh, the triple sets. I actually picked up a bunch of those sets. I'm going to – I might do a video on that. 
talk about some of the characters. This is actually a pretty decent set. This is actually in store right now as well. It's a nice little recon helicopter. There's a lot of room in this this uh, this uh, canopy. Sorry, cockpit. Jesus, whoa, whoa brain farting here. Uh, but it does have a, a recon drone on the back, so that's pretty cool. And it kind of goes down. You can fit, a, a, I think, one or two figures in there. But that's pretty cool. So let's get to the new characters. Take a look at them. These are some of the new characters. No, that's not them. That's not them, because they don't have the new style articulation. No, yeah, that's not them. Um, but uh, you can... Uh, Kmart Australia and Ireland, there's Smiths. And then, obviously, Walmart for us in the U.S. So... Pretty cool. I thought I just might uh, show you guys some stuff with having to do the with the core. I'm gonna try and look up the. I don't. For some reason, they don't have pictures of the new core figures. So I'm gonna look that up for you guys. The core Elite 2017. I believe they're coming out. Yeah. All right. Here are here's the new articulation. Here's Smoke, and he is a new character. And look, he's got uh, he's got pretty much like the females had those uh, T jointed hips, so he can do the splits now. I believe he has a swivel at this el. Oh no, he's just got a bend at the elbow, but he's got the swivels up top, swivel head, and um, the look at the sculpt on this is really improving. I really like how this looks for Smoke. They're doing a lot, a, a much better job on these figures. I'm going to be honest with you. I mean, they're not on the same level as G.I. Joe or Marauders, but, I mean, at least they're they're trying. You know, you got to give them some credit for trying. Uh, but here's the read-ups, too. You can you can find these read-ups online. I really like how the dossier is set up here, this nice little display for the read-up. That's nice. Looks good. Gives you a date of birth, his height, his weight, skill class, strength, speed, all that stuff. It's pretty nice. And this is what the um, his setup's going to look like. Much more realistic. They're going that more realistic look for a core. So it's nice to see that for these figures. Oops. Are these the new ones? We're going to see if there's smoke is in here. I don't see them in there. But yeah, they're all going to have that uh, new style of articulation with those those hips. So that's cool. So it does look a lot better. Uh, David says, if the Jurassic Clash stuff doesn't hit store, doesn't hit the states, I'll be pissed. That stuff looks so much fun. I'll have the new core figures. Yeah, I'm definitely going to pick up some of these new core figures. Definitely. Without a shadow of a doubt. Uh, I saw some dinosaur-related chat may sets during the most recent trip to TRU. Yeah, if you guys go to the, what is it, Animal Planet section, there's like a whole Animal Planet section. They have those. I'll actually go back to ToysRUs.com. Uh, where are we? There we go. I'll go back here, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. The Animal and hey, Whoa. Um, also, the the Kong Skull Island figure sets are, are pretty cool, too. Uh, there we go. They have these pretty cool, like, ocean creature sets. They have this, like, tree house. These are all three and three-quarter inch scaled. Uh, 118 scale, excuse me. Which is pretty cool. And they come with these, look at that, lo freaking Loch Ness Monster. Or <laughs> that's what it looks like, at least. Um. There's another treehouse set with a uh, a plane. Here's this truck right here. I don't think those doors open. Um, but we do. It does come with a. I saw this really cool like submarine set, but the prices are a little bit high on it. Um, this this is pretty cool. This uh, safari off road vehicle. That's pretty cool. It is remote controlled though. And then there's this random 
plain Jane truck. They had this at Toys R Us. Um, <laughs> a freaking Bigfoot set. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> but this is pretty cool too. This uh, it's kind of like a a capture SUV set, or like a kind of like a Jurassic Park set. This thing right here swivels upward over over top of the SUV right there, like this. And then you have like a nice little cage to protect yourself from stuff. So, I mean, it's pretty cool. I mean, at least uh, we're getting sets. Oh, here's the uh, the sub that I wanted to pick up, this little miniature sub. But 30 bucks? Yikes. I don't know, man. Couldn't I couldn't justify pulling the trigger on that. But the sub does look cool. The sub's a decent size, not as as, as large as the true hero sub uh, by any measure. But it is a sub. That was actually at my pretty much all of these sets were at my Toys R Us. And they just kind of peg warm. I'm gonna be honest with you. They really do. So I think that might be it. Uh, I spent all this time. Let me stop sharing here. There we go. I spent all this time talking about and showing you guys uh, all that stuff, and I was going to actually do this review. But you know what? We'll save it for tomorrow. How's that? We'll do another live review tomorrow. And I picked up the uh, Elite Force uh, Navy Special. Um. Warboat, I'll just call it, or what does it say? Warfare gunboat, nice gunboat, pretty cool. And the, um, I believe the Navy actually does use this, so that's pretty awesome. And uh, this is going to go to a certain character as well. I wonder who it could be. <clears throat> Chapman Films. Um, no, no, but you'll have to wait and see who it is, <laughs> as I just give it away. But. Yeah, this is uh, pretty cool. So we'll save this review for tomorrow. We'll do no, another live review tomorrow since I have off and it is Labor Day. Hopefully all of you uh, had off. Uh, if you guys have any questions before I let you go, please do ask some questions. Please, please, please. If you have any questions about the set, the, or the set I showed tonight um, or you want to see something else that, I did, that you think I didn't show, let me know and I'll show you that before I end the video. Are they still selling Elite Force at your TRU? Uh, no, they are not. Not at my Toys R Us. I wish they were. Um, I think the last set I saw were those multi-packs with the dog and the sniper. And then after that, I haven't seen anything. Uh, I don't know. Have, uh, have you Have you guys seen any of the uh, Elite Force sets out there? Because I I wish they had more because those those sets go these sets go for crazy prices on eBay it's insane. Where did I find that boat? Uh, which which boat? Oh, this boat? Oh, pfft, so stupid. Uh, I got this on eBay and it was twenty. It was uh, I paid twenty bucks with free shipping. But I think it goes. I don't know. You, you kind of have to be. I would be a little patient with this boat. To be honest with you. I would not pay more than 20 bucks for it. 30 bucks is, yeah, yeah, you know? Yeah, nothing in your area. Okay. So nothing in, and I don't, I don't, I don't yeah, I don't think Elite Force is being stocked anymore. So I don't know how they're going to sell their product. They're just going to be online only, online sales only. I wonder about that. It's unfortunate. So. But I think that's it. I'm going to add this to my collection. Collection. And we are going to do my Marauders video. I got I have to, I have to Whoa. Slow down. I have to actually sh uh, shoot my Marauders video. So that's got to happen. But my review is a coming for a certain person named Shadow Tracker. Uh-oh. Shadow Tracker. Uh, yeah, the uh, this gunboat is pretty awesome. Here, I'll show you the back. 
You guys can check it out. It's loaded, and it comes with a cool uh, drone. It's a, little dr a drone launcher and a drone in the front of the boat. Looks pretty dope. You can fit G.I. Joes on here. You can fit Marauders on here. So that's nice, and it comes with a little recon um, boat as well. So I think uh, around the 20, I would say the most I'd pay for this is around 25. Uh, that's 25, I think you're still good. But 20, I'd definitely pull the trigger. 20 bucks, I think it's worth it. So that's why I'd go for it. Not, not pay 30. Do not pay 30 for it. No. No dice. Unless you really, really want it. And then no judgment here. Really, really, if you really, really want it, Go, I guess you can go get it. But my recommendation, don't go past 25 bucks. Um, okay, you guys have any more questions for chat? Um, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Suggest they are very cheaply made, but, but it's pretty cool. It fits Joe's perfectly. Yes, it does. Um, A and D, I got to check out your, 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 uh, your recent video popped up today and I got to go check that out. So I'm probably going to check that out after this, but, um, yeah, let's do some shout outs unless you guys have any more questions. If you do have any more questions, try to get them in because I'm going to end the stream or the live review. I should say, I don't want to go on too long. It's been about an hour and a half and my wife wants to play the Sims. So, you know gonna make her happy so uh human mechanism thanks for thanks for popping in man we got we're gonna we got we got we gotta, we're on the same page here we're so we're gonna collaborate maybe next week you and i and uh, i'll try to get strident too if he wants to if he wants to join us uh soul drum thanks for thanks for joining buddy and uh you and i gotta collaborate as well uh zorpox thanks for joining uh rob dog thanks for joining buddy bjorn thanks for joining jeff phillips thanks for joining pat morgan thank you for joining buddy logan martinez thank you for joining a andy a a andy <laughs> There I go with 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 my stu my stupidity again. A N D, uh, thanks for joining, and uh, definitely check out A N D's uh, channel. It's A N D's Showcase. He's got a really nice channel, so, so definitely go show him some love. Uh, give him some likes. Sub to his channel, please. Uh, Terry Turner, thank you as always, brother. Uh, Oscar Laguna, thank you for joining, buddy. Uh, David, thank you again for, for stopping in. I appreciate the, the great conversations. And I think that's it. Is that it? I skip it. I hope I didn't leave anybody out. Oh, definitely go check out, um, Strident's new, he did a really good, really good review on that SH Figure Arts Ryu, um, figure. That figure's Friggin' amazing! I think it's way better than the Storm Collectibles figure. Um, I'm, I'm, I pass. I'm passing on the Ryu for now because I want them. I, I'm waiting for the Ken version to come out um, because I'm more. I'm, I'm a Ken guy. Whenever I'd play it, play as Ken or Guile. Um, those are like my two guys. Um, but definitely go check out his his latest review. That's up. And uh, he also did a collaboration video talking about infestation, G.I. Joe, uh, the IDW G.I. Joe infestation with Cujo, um, a well-known member of G.I. Joeberg. So definitely check that out. And check out G.I. Joeberg's uh, podcast. You can guys uh, pretty much download them off of iTunes. That's what I listen to. Um, they might be on Podbean. I don't know. I'm not 100% on that. But definitely go check them out as well. So. Those are my shout outs for tonight. Uh, thank you everyone for joining. I hope you guys enjoyed this live review. I'm just going to keep doing them because they're a lot of fun. I like talking to you guys. Um, and uh, yeah, yeah, go to go sub uh, A N D. He's got a he's got a really good channel. I like it.
So um, thank you, everybody. And um, definitely check out the human mechanism, Mark II. Um, it's not just the human mechanism, but it's the human mechanism MK2, which is Mark II, I'm assuming. Um, but uh, he's got an awesome channel, and he does a lot of uh, Chat May, BBI uh, reviews, GI Joe reviews as well. So definitely check him out as well. And uh, I wanted to ask you, actually, if, if you're still here, Human Mechanism, if you are, were considering getting into the Marauders at all. Um, but uh, maybe we could actually, you know what, we'll save that for our discussion next week. How about that? We'll save that for next week. But, um, yeah, I had them all. This was fun. I think it's a cool set. $30 is kind of pushing it, though. Am I, am, I, am I bullshitting or am I not bullshitting? Um, it's a little bit much, a little bit. But um, you've been thinking about it? Yeah, man. I mean, I would say start off with two. That's what I did. I started off with two. Um, oh, by the way, um, you should consider at least um, picking up um, at least a couple from the current uh, – here, actually, I'll show you guys. This will be the last thing i show you guys before I go. The current – The, uh, the new Kickstarter is up. For Marauders. And... I mean, if, if you guys out there have not thought about getting into Marauders yet, I think, like, if I just found out about Marauders, I think this would sell me right away. Here we go. The uh, Marauder Task Force 118 scale canine dog exosuit contract ops. Now, later on, they're going to do a World War II Kickstarter, but they're doing a separate one here. There's 19 days to go, and they almost got 100,000, which is good. So they've opened up some stretch goals as, as well. Um, um, I'm actually going to pledge. I think I'm going to wait until the next paycheck to, to pledge. And um, I'm not gonna go all in. Uh, here's the um, here's the all in. All in's four hundred dollars. That's, I mean that that that's kind of asking a lot. But um, I might go the one thirty five route and uh, just pick any six items. So, uh, but I def I have to get I have to get some dogs. I'm a big dog lover myself. I love my dog Oreo, and I even made him a character in my Marauders universe or my Joe verse, I should say. And uh, but this is so cool. Look at the friggin' different head sculpts with the ears pinned back and the growling face sh showing the teeth. You've got the neutral face right here. It's just so cool. And and they come with accessories. They come with uh, the dog collar sculpted right there. I just can't get enough of these. They come with a muzzle. They come with a tactical vest. Oh man, they're just so nice. And here's actually uh, the real photos of the prototypes. The jaws are articulated. You've got swivels at the head right here. You've got swivels at the neck right here. Um, this might actually be a hinge joint. I'm not 100% sure on that if it's a hinge. I should probably read up more about this, but there's uh, swivels here at the upper arm. Then you've got uh, hinge joints at the the I guess I could just say the knee joint here, um, the upper leg portion. And then you have swivels at the paw. That's what I'll say. What else do you have swivels? You've got the hind leg swivels or hinges. You've got hinges here, hinges here. The tail is articulated. It's friggin' awesome, man. These are whew, much needed companions, man. We need our companions. You know, as, as, us as humans, we've got to have companions, you know. The exosuits look great. Now, these are a really nice add-on. Um, and I feel like not a lot of people are talking about the exosuits that much. But these are going to be go right to one of my villains right away. Um, there's tons of different ways that you can, you can mix and mash. A actually, they're using the same uh, pin joints that they actually use for the Steadicam gun which is nice reuse, I think, and it makes sense. Uh, you get a really good range of motion with this as well, as far as those go. Um, they've got the same pin joints for the the legs to connect to the... I'm going to guess that this is the same belt that they used for the Steadicam gun. So that's pretty cool. We've got missile pods right here. We've got flamethrower plug-ins. 
Um, here's the bottom of the boot, which is nicely sculpted. This is some dope shit right here. This is some really cool stuff. Um, we've got head attachments, and they just attach right to the regular helmet. And all of these leg pieces and everything, they all attach to the bottom of the feet, I'm assuming. The arms attach to the peg holes on the arm right here. You might end up having to glue some of this stuff because I've noticed that some of these peg holes sometimes on the Marauders, they're not matching up with the, the, the male ends, not ma matching up with the female end. So, but this is some cool stuff. And now we're finally getting some new head sculpts with our contract ops. We're getting t-shirted bodies for our, our males. We're getting um, clothed um, um, like khakis and jeans for our, our our new bodies, the contract ops. Um, the t I think these tactical vests might be the same. I think they might. Oh no, those are new. Those are new. They're just the uh, the the male version of the the female tech ones. Uh, but new five clip pouches. Oh man, I just can't I can't stress enough. We got knee pads finally, which is pretty cool. There's just a lot to there's a lot here to talk about. So I'll I know I went through this before, but I'll just quickly go through some of the stretch goals and just discuss that for a little bit, and then I'll I'll say goodnight for the day. I know I said uh, uh, Stance Wars, what's up, buddy? How you doing? Sorry, I'm almost ignoring chat here. Sorry about sorry about that. Uh, did I go to Force Friday? Yes, I did. I did, and I'm going to do a video with uh, Soul Drum. I just uh, maybe maybe we could do it tomorrow. I don't know. But I do want to do that live review tomorrow, so maybe uh, we could do it uh, during the week. Uh, we'll talk about Forest Friday and stuff like that. Um, you can make your own metalhead. Yes, you can. You can definitely make your own metalhead with these exosuits. Absolutely. You can make an updated metalhead and, and have him in an exosuit, which I think makes a lot more sense for him instead of just having rockets attached to his back and looking very strange. Um Is this a game or make your own figure? It's make your own figure. Uh, but they also are coming out with a role playing game, which is pretty cool. If you're you know into if you're into role playing games, and that's pretty cool. So it's a game and it's a and it's a these are figures that you're, you're basically buying. But here's the 118 scale updated weapons, and I am so so happy that we are getting oops that we are getting this L96 sniper. That is what I use when I airsoft. So I'm really happy we're getting this. Um, some much needed updated sniper rifles as well. Um, this is the same sniper rifle that was actually used in the first sniper movie. Um, I believe it's HK sniper. I can't remember the technical term. I know it's got a, a name. I just don't know it off the top of my head. We're getting new pistols here. Uh, we got a Bravo pistol and a Delta pistol. Pretty, pretty awesome. We've got some uh, more assault rifles here. The more the merrier. We've got a new Mac 10. Uh, we've got our SOCOM uh, SCAR. Oh, no, that's a snow, that's a SOCOM with like a SCAR stock right there. It's pretty cool. Um, we've got another sniper rifle here. It looks very kind of similar to the M14 sniper, but different. Obviously, it's not the same, I don't think. Uh, we got a saw right there, which is much needed. We've got this uh, sniper rifle that was with, um, what was it, Long Range, I believe. That was a sniper rifle that he came with. Um, I'm not sure if it was long range or whatever, but he came with the canine companion, but that's his sniper rifle right there. Um, okay. So here are the stretch goals. The stretch goals are going to be more attachments, um, right here for the exosuits, which is pretty cool. You're going to have a, a jet pack plugs for the, for the back port, which is cool. So they're going to offer jet packs. I believe this was unlocked. This is unlocked. They are okay because they passed the seventy-six thousand dollar mark. For we also are getting the the uh, Terra op for the Valkyries, which is good. And this is all of the gear that's going to be included with that said figure. So everything you see here, and this is pretty much breaking down what is on her right there. And she is fully modular if you're new to Marauders. But this was also unlocked as well. So this exosuit is fully funded. 
You don't have to worry about any of that not being available. Also, after the Kickstarter is over, you're going to be able to get a chance to pick these up on their store as well. Now, I'm not sure how fast they're going to go up on the store. Um, I think this t might take up to about a year for them to make. Usually that's around the, the, the time frame for Kickstarters. I've been a part of three Kickstarters now, and I don't regret the wait at all. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, we've got uh, we've got this guy right here. He is unlocked. What is he? Oh, he's the flight ops. I you know what? I, I, I've already made my pilot. So and I, to be honest with you, I, I don't think I really need this. But it is a stretch goal, and it has been met. So there you go with that. We've got the tech ops, which I think this is necessary for the Valkyries. Um, and that has not been op uh, unlocked yet because you got to hit the 100,000 goal. We've got more exosuit accessories. We've got a claw that opens on a hinge, I'm assuming. I, I, I'm assuming these are going to be on two hinges right here since there's a hinge there and a hinge there. And then we have, uh, oh, the, yeah, the claws are on a swivel point at right here. The, that's going to be really nice. We've got this nice blade plug-in. We've got a grenade launcher here. We've got a heavy machine gun plug. We've got a shield, a, a collapsible shield right here. I don't think it is collapsible, but it does. The design makes it look collapsible. Um, and here's our jetpack. Oh man, geeking out about this jetpack. Love it. And then we have the ghost ops. It's pretty much just an all white version of her. Uh, I don't think this is really. It's, it's not making me go deeper into my pocket to pick hit a stretch goal but um we've got the black version or of the police of the police dog which is pretty cool i like to have the variety with the dogs i don't just want one colored german shepherd you know there are black german shepherds there's um spotted german shepherds as well um so that's that unlocks at 134k uh, and then we have the assault ops so just different colors for the Valkyries. And then we have, this is what I really hope gets unlocked. We've got handcuffs here. We've got a removable knit hat, which is like kind of like a, uh, a Navy SEAL hat. We've got this, the military dress hat, which I really hope gets unlocked. Uh, we've got ninja swords and, and sheaths. We've got a long short, a sword, a short sword. We've got canteen ports, which is really cool. Um, like I said, handcuffs. We've got a removable wrap around bandana, which is freaking awesome. We've got the, if you want just the regular wrap around, or if you want the fully covered removable bandana, you can you have that option as well. You have an electronic tracker, which is kind of reminiscent to aliens, I guess, but not the same design, obviously. But still really awesome. And that is going to be unlocked in 156K. I think stuff like this will will tempt people to try to get to this number, especially with the especially with this. I mean the 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 do extra dog and all these add-ons right here. But moving on, we also have this Chimera Ops, which is I really like this blue color. It looks pretty cool. I would definitely be using this for like maybe my Navy Seals stuff like that. So I like that. That's a that's a pretty cool looking, and they have it for the females as well. Um, that unlocks at 168k, where this one unlocks at 180. And then we have more stuff, more gear here for the for the uh, contract ops. So we have some sunglasses. We've got a different head sculpt, a military fade for the hair and stuff like that. Um. So some pretty cool stuff. Some more attachments here, and that's at 192k for the contract ops stuff. We've got a blade here with a sheath. We've got a head, or I guess a headset. Some more pouches. So some cool stuff. Some more, more and more stuff. Uh, this is just a gunmetal version exosuit, and that's unlocked at 204k if they get to that. Obviously, more, more of of a different look for that. And then we got our strato ops. I'm guessing a lot of people are going to want this for Cobra. 
That's what I'm assuming. The the blue and white, definitely, definitely. And we've got uh, this as well. This looks like Scarlet, the the flight suit Scarlet, but a much better version, to be honest with you, because um, I actually have that flight suit Scarlet. Got gray a gray version of him, of the dog. And that's at 250 if they get to that. Some more accessories. We've got a plug-in mask. Some more stuff. And like I said, if you guys want to check this out, you can. There's a lot of, of uh, unlocks here. If they get to, what was it? The peak is 322K, and you get this kind of like shiny chrono ops. I'm not sure what you would use that for. I'm not, I'm not interested in that. But I am actually interested in this. This I am interested in. The black and the almost gold. So these are like royal ops. That's pretty cool. I kind of wish that they did like a golden red so we could do some um, iron grenadiers. That would be awesome. But maybe we'll get to that down the road. But I just want to show you guys that really quick. I'll stop sharing. And I will go ahead and end the stream. Um, so I hope that was informative enough for you guys. I tried to add in as much information into this uh, video as possible for that and try to plug that Kickstarter and try to, you know, get it going some more. Um, even if, I mean, even if you contribute, uh, you know, one buck towards the cause, it helps. Uh, I'm sure it does help. Uh, but I'm sure a lot of these, a lot of those figures will be available on the site after the Kickstarter's over, after the figures have already been released, which is probably going to be around a year wait. That's what I'm, I'm assuming. It's going to be probably around uh, the 2018, uh, summer of 2018 mark. Um, let me just catch up on chat, and then I will uh, say goodnight for the night, because I know my wife is itching to make some houses here. <laughs> uh, even though this is not Star Wars related, are you getting the do back for the six-inch six line? Yes, I am. I am uh, getting the do back. I actually plan on getting Ray's vehicle as well. But I just couldn't justify spending $120 on two vehicles. Um, eh. So I, I went after the whole first wave that was released on Force Friday instead of going after both vehicles. So I did pick up the Luke Speeder. But I'm going to wait for Ray to drop in price a little bit. Um, so I hope that answers to the best of my ability there, Stance Wars. Um, David says, I use the blue and white for shield agents. Sure. Yeah, you could definitely go that route. Absolutely. Um, sucks I came late to live stream. Um, take care. Take care, man. Keep up the good content. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, Terry Turner, I'll see you later, buddy. And, um, yeah, I think I'm going to end it here. Uh, tune in tomorrow. Um, I'll probably, you know what, I'll probably aim because I do have off the whole day, and it's just going to be me and the wife hanging out all day because that's, what we love doing on our days off. We just kind of hang out at home and chill. But, uh, yeah, I'll probably aim to do this review. Let's go afternoon-ish, and I'll post a I'll – po I'll, just to remind everybody, I'll post the time tomorrow for the live review um, on my Facebook page. So definitely go check out my Facebook page. If you haven't liked that, go like it, please. Uh, if you haven't subscribed and you're a new uh, watcher here and you like the content, please hit that subscribe button. Hit the thumbs up as well. That helps. Um, and, uh, yeah, we'll aim for tomorrow for that live review, the uh, Naval Gunboat at uh, – let's go for yeah, – we'll go for – you know what? 2 o'clock, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, right here we'll do the live review, so stay tuned for that. And if you can't check check out the live review, if, if you've got some stuff going on, some family stuff, or you're traveling, you can always check it out later. It's, it's going to be up on my channel, so no big deal there. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'll also post the time on uh, my Facebook page. So thank you so much, everyone, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this long review of this set and then some informative stuff after. Uh, but thank you to everyone. Uh, for tuning in and uh, if you were just lurking thank you for lurking thank you for contributing and i'll see you guys on the flip side